Hi everyone, this is Kate O'Connor reporting for AppWeb from AirVenture 2023. A couple of months ago, Delta Hawk received an FAA type certificate for its DHK-180 four-cylinder piston engine. Let's go take a look. My name is Dennis Webb. I'm with, with Delta Hawk Engines, obviously. Uh, we are so excited to talk about this engine today. We've been here for many Air Ventures talking about it's almost done. And I know a lot of people uh, have been waiting and waiting. We've had a great fan base, but we are here. First year, type certified. We got our type certification from the FAA back on April 7th. That was a tough journey. It took a lot longer than we expected. And that's, I gotta tell you, the FAA regulations are tough. They're tough for a good reason. And that's why aviation is so safe. The FAA has been very supportive. And, and all I can say is good things about the help we got from our certification office and so forth. But anyways, the engine is really cool. It's a jet fuel burning compression ignition engine. Um, it has got amazing, amazing attributes to it, starting with easy to operate. Pilots are used to, well, I can't start my engine because it's cold, so I have to preheat it. Our engine will start down at minus 20, unaided. Pilots are used to, I can't restart my engine because it's hot, it's hard to restart. Our engine loves starting hot. Single lever operation, it's turbocharged and supercharged, phenomenal altitude performance. Yet, I'm, most pilots who fly a turbocharged engine are used to babying their engine, watch your cylinder head temperatures, watch your exhaust gas temperatures. Ours, you don't have to worry about it. You fly ours like you operate your car. You start the engine up, you go fast, you go slow. In this case, go high, go low, and don't have to worry about shock cooling or watching your cylinder temperature. And that's a really remarkable engine from an easy to operate standpoint. Of course, it uses jet fuel, which is available around the world. And we've also done testing with SAF, Sustainable Aviation Fuel, which is the f future of jet fuels globally, which gives us a great environmental impact. Speaking of environmental impact and low cost of ownership, on a typical mission we will burn about 35 to 40 percent less than an avgas burning engine. So great fuel efficiency, low cost of operation for the, for the pilot or the operator, and of course it's good for the environment as well. This engine is just our first offering, and I should say this, it's 180 horsepower and people compare it to 180 horsepower gas engine. You can't do that because the torque curve and the thrust curve of our engine is so much different. I mean, at 1800 RPM, we blow, will blow you away back to your, your seat performance as you take off. So uh, comparison to comparison is not quite accurate, but our engines are also gonna get more powerful. This engine alone has got room in it to grow. The 180 is just kind of the base level we started with. And then we have plans in the future for a lot higher horsepower versions as well. They won't take 20 years because now we got the technology figured out. The interest has been, lack of a better word, overwhelming. <laughs> overwhelming interest. We've had uh, the certified aircraft manufacturers, large to small, we've had a lot of meetings with them over the last few years, but spe specifically since we got our type certificate, they're very interested in the engine, because they see it as expanding their market. That gets them to pay places in the world where you can't get ab gas, leaded or unleaded, you just can't get it. Experimental kit manufacturers as well, the actual kit manufacturers are interested for the same reason. And of course the interest from individual pilots, commercial operators, Department of Defense have been just over the top. We're, we're really pleased, to, and we, this has been announced by NASA. We were selected by NASA for what's called their SUSAN program, and it's a, it's a hybrid concept for commercial airliners in the future. We also have been selected by Amp Air for a hybrid electric proof of concept as well. So the legs for this engine go well beyond just what you see here powering a traditional airframe. This engine is very attractive for hybrid for a couple of reasons. Number one, it does burn jet fuel, or SAF, go in the future. Uh, beyond that, our engine has got this extraordinary torque curve. It loves to be loaded. It loves to be loaded. And you don't have to baby it. You can just you can just power it up. So whether it's just going at a lower horsepower or lower power levels, lower torque, or all the way up, you can fly this thing you, or power a hybrid at full power, and it's happy all day long. It's really great combination for hybrid. Uh, we've had extraordinary interest from experimental, both the kit manufacturers and the builders. Um, our, and to be clear, all of our engines will be certified. We're not selling non-certified engines, but they go to the experimental market. Again, they see it as expanding their market, and the experimental kit manufacturer, experimental builder, either is overseas and sees the the jet fuel. Uh, benefits, or they like the, the the benefits of altitude performance and so forth. We right now the, our uh, our engine as it sits, our target price is sixty thousand dollars. 
for a turbocharged, supercharged compression ignition engine, we think that's very attractive. The complete package will be more uh, to install it, depending upon the, the, the specific airframe it's going to, um, but we think that's a very attractive price. Uh, right now, we're spooling up our production, uh, our supply chain, and so we would we, our first deliveries to the general sales public will be in uh, first half of 2024, next year. Uh, we started taking reservation deposits uh, back when we announced our type certificate back in, in April. We actually announced it in May. And we've had extraordinary response, we've taken a lot of deposits from people who couldn't wait to get, get in line. We expect to take a lot of orders as well here at, at Oshkosh.